Hi everybody. Today we're going to do something really cool. We are going to go visit the Harrisburg Cover Bridge and then we're going to go blackberry picking and then after that we're going to go visit some of the uh, cabins here in Pigeon Forge. So let's go do this. Let's do it. Well, we're here at the Harris Covered Bridge, and we figure we'd stop and show you guys what this was about. This sign is new. It was built in 1875, the Harris Covered Bridge. Well, this is the Harris Covered Bridge. It's got these cool little windows on each side here. You got the old uh, creek down there. It's a cool little bridge. We pass this bridge almost on a daily basis. Okay, so we're looking for a this really cool blackberry farm that we can go pick blackberries in. Pick blackberries this way. Okay, let's go. Mountain Miss Farm and Winery. Okay, let's go check. Let's see what's going on. Everybody, today we're in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, at the Mountain Miss Farm Winery. Okay. Gotta go through this little bridge here. Get over to the blueberries over here. Picking those blueberries. Blueberries, huh? Yep, got a couple of them. Oh, yeah. All kinds of blueberries up there. Just get me picking one. Blackberries. Look at the size of them blackberries. Well, 
Well, ever since we moved here to Tennessee, uh, coming to the blackberry farm here has been um, a tradition for us. Um, it's it's absolutely awesome. And the blackberries here, I mean, they can get like as big as a half dollar. They're huge and they're great tasting. And they also have blueberries and um, and uh, they also, they just started, I don't know, a couple years ago, they started making wine. And uh, so if you're a wine lover, definitely I come out here and check this out. So did you get all the blueberries? Is there all the raspberries you needed? Yes, we did. Let's see what the, what we cashed in on here. Blackberries. Well, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I got wine. Great honey wine. Well, that was Mountain Mist Berry Farms. Uh, they got the biggest blackberries I've ever seen. Uh, definitely an awesome place. The owners here are absolutely wonderful. And if you have any questions, they'll, they'll be happy to answer them. They also have wine here. Uh, that's The fruit is right from this uh, berry farm. So definitely a checkout. If you're into Pigeon Forge or Gatlinburg area, I suggest to come out and do some um, blackberry picking. And if you're into wine, come up here and taste some. And the drive to the blackberry farm is absolutely beautiful. It's definitely worth just to come up here for the drive alone. This corner here, just before you leave Pigeon Forge to go into Gatlinburg, there's a road here that goes by as Marathon. And up there on top of the hill is that zip line. Take that road and it'll take you all the way to that blackberry farm. It's only about two miles. Now we're going to go look at the cabins here in Pigeon Forge. Okay, everybody. These are the cabins that Dawn and I always talk about. Look at that view. Look at that view. That's Dollywood down there below, and you can see the wild eagle running. Cabins are the way to go. They are probably your best value here in the Smokies. You got them beautiful views. And this cabin here, Dawn and I actually stayed in for two nights at one time. It's called Champions Run by uh, Dollywood Vacations. It's absolutely beautiful. But definitely, the cabins are the way to go if you're going to visit the Great Smoky Mountains. Look at, look at that cabin there. That's a big one. Yeah. It's supposed to have an indoor pool. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at the views. Out of this world, folks. Look at those views, folks. Yeah. 
cabins are the way to go. These are all really cool cabins here too. The clean over the moon ones. Wow, look at the views on these cabins right here in front of us. They get to wake up every morning to old Mount Leconte there. I see a little bit of fire damage up here in Walker, but they're making some beautiful new cabins now. Yeah, you can see they're starting to rebuild all the cabins up here. A lot of cabins have been rebuilt already. And there's still a lot that haven't been built, but the biggest problem is, is that they can't get enough um, contractors and stuff to build all these cabins. So it's going to take a few more years before it's 100%. But this is a good opportunity for a lot of people to get brand spanking new cabins to rent. And then, like, that cabin's brand new. They just got done building that one. But there's still some cabins here that are waiting to be rebuilt. That cabin is being rebuilt right now. I remember that cabin when it was just a foundation. Look, I like those little bears that are on that porch. <laughs> Here's another new cabin. Well, everybody, we had a great day today. First, we got to see the Harrisburg Cover Bridge, and then we went blackberry picking, and that was great. The owners there were really nice, and definitely that was a really cool visit. Um, also, we got to see the progress of the cabins that were destroyed during the uh, wildfires, and we got to visit the cabin that we once stayed in. It was uh, so it was, we had a lot of fun. What did you thought about the whole trip? I liked it. It was very fun. Yeah, it was great. It was so, great. Well, if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe so you don't miss any more of these upcoming Smoky Mountain adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Wow, we're in for a treat. We got vanilla ice cream. We got like a shortcake down there. We got whipped cream. And the blackberries that we picked today. This is going to be good.